Thank you. Before I get started, for those of you who are in the back, there are extra copies in case you can't see the screen. Bob, if you'd raise your hand, he's got extra copies of the presentation. It might be easier for you all to follow along. And I will tell you when to move this up. Thank you, Chair. Hello, my name is Joanne Mendy, and on behalf of the Genesee County Coalition for Clean Water, and especially the residents of Monk Township, thank you for allowing us to present. Tonight, we want to share just the facts, like they would say on the old Dragnet show. We want to share what we know about the EPA and toxic chemicals, health and economic concerns associated with a mega site, potentially a semiconductor plant, and why this information warrants a one-year moratorium on any mega site development. Next slide. Monty Township belongs to Region 5 of the EPA. This includes Michigan and five neighboring states, along with 35 Native American tribal lands. The EPA produced a listening video about PFAS in April of 2023. Next slide. When talking about semiconductors, we will hear a lot about a toxic substance known as PFAS. PFAS is short for polyfluoroalkyl substances, and they are used in the manufacturing of semiconductor chips. They have been used since 1940s, and some of you may be more familiar with the product Teflon. Companies have kept health secrets, the health hazard secrets about this product for decades. PFAS are a solid powdery material at room temperature, and during the manufacturing process, PFAS present a potential hazard to workers, as well as to groundwater due to wastewater dumping. Due to their strong carbon atoms, they never break down. They will be in our land, water, and in our bloodstream for decades to come. Next slide. The EPA has increased this study on the effect of PFAS. Two laws exist to help limit and protect against exposure of toxic chemicals. This is wonderful news. However, the reporting is limited. And worse yet, the EPA has only established guidelines for safe levels of PFAS in drinking water in March of 2023. This short-term regulation alone warrants our request for a one-year moratorium. Next slide. To get a good visual of the proposed megasite, as most of you already know, it is in the advanced Manufacturing Overlay District in the upper left-hand corner of the map. In that site, it impacts nine subdivisions within a half a mile, along with Swartz Creek Elementary School and two child care centers. Furthermore, the first green marking shows the affected properties within a half a mile, within a three-mile radius, and the second green marking shows the affected properties within a five-mile radius. The pink areas are in the neighborhoods that we have canvassed and we have been raising awareness of this, the proximity of this proposed site and have collected over 1,260 signatures as of August. That's about 13 signatures a day. Next slide. So why are we so concerned? Well, in a paper published in the Journal of Occupational and Environmental Health, several adverse health conditions were documented. During the making of semiconductor chips, Exposure during the wafer manufacturing process presents the most significant incidents. As was noted earlier, PFAS are used in a powder form, so it's reasonable to see how they can be irritants to skin or irritants to respiratory organs due to their airborne properties. The study also noted that toxic materials are carcinogens. The use of two to four million gallons of water per day increases the level of toxic chemicals in the land and groundwater permanently because, again, PFAS do not break down. Next slide. One of the largest health studies was completed by the Semiconductor Industry Association, the SIA. While cancer is an apparent risk, one of the most startling outcomes showed spontaneous miscarriages in female workers in the first trimester of pregnancy. Children born to female workers were also found to have an elevated risk of cancer. And more surprising for all the male workers, children born to male workers were found to have life-threatening congenital birth defects. Additionally, there were indications of mutant DNA in the male workers 
that transferred to their offspring. Next slide. There are also economic risk factors to a semiconductor plant. The demand for semiconductors has caused new materials such as gallium and germanium to be used with little known EPA safety guidelines. The U.S. has no sizable germanium deposit, so it must import up to 100% germanium from overseas countries, mostly China. This reality keeps a manufacturing plant subservient to a communist country. China's transitioning to a political power instead of an economic manufacturing power, along with increasing trade tensions with the United States, could have a huge negative effect on obtaining materials, as well as imposing high tariffs on exported goods, thereby reducing profits. Semiconductors are big business. It's not surprising. Over $61.1 billion in 2022 alone was gained by the United States. So it is obvious to see why there is such a push for more development. However, what are we willing to risk for profits? Conclusions. Next slide, please. Our conclusions. We know that there are health hazards with PFAS. We are concerned about those health hazards and permanent groundwater pollution. We know that guidelines for safe PFAS levels in drinking water have only been established by the EPA in March of 2023. These are just guidelines, they say. Reproductive health hazards by workers, both male and female, as noted by the largest health study conducted by the SIA, are alarming and deadly. The recent instability of trade markets with the United States and China could have crushing effects on the survival and sustainability of any new semiconductor plants that are constructed. 1,260 people and more to come are in favor of a one-year moratorium on the proposed megasite development in the Advanced Manufacturing Overlay District. We are asking the township to heed the voices of your constituents and to vote at your next township meeting to approve the one-year moratorium on any proposed megasite development. Thank you.